Hi, I'm the person who made the website Loud and Scuffed. Uh, the URL to that is in the description if you want to check it out. This video is just me showing you how I put my playlists onto cassette tapes because my car does not have Bluetooth or an aux cord, so I can only use cassette tapes. And uh, this is for anybody who wants to also put their music on cassette tapes. Yeah. So in general, there's a few different lengths of cassette tapes. There's C60s and C90s, which are the two most common ones. Uh, all that means is that it's 60 minutes total when you combine both sides and 90 minutes total when you combine both sides. So if you see a 60, that's 30 on side A, 30 on side B, 45 on side A, 45 on side B. There's also C46s, I believe, and C120s. Um, I wouldn't really recommend either of those. C46s, there's nothing, uh, nothing really wrong with them. It's just 23 minutes on either side is like kind of a wonky number. And C120s are just a bad idea. Since the tape is physically longer, you have a higher chance of um, whatever machine you're recording on or playing on just eating the tape and destroying it. So would not recommend either of those. Uh, stick with 60s and 90s. And for the purpose of this project, I'm gonna be using a C60. So to start off, I'm using Groove Music, which is just the Windows equivalent of iTunes. And I'm going through my music library and trying to figure out what kind of playlist I wanna make. Uh, in the end, I decided for my side A of my cassette tape, I would just do a compilation of my favorite songs by Jeff Rosenstock. And I just created a playlist through Groove Music and started picking out all of the songs that I wanted to go on this side of the cassette. Um, something to note here is I'm going through and picking whatever catches my eye. Again, we're using a C60 cassette tape length, which means 30 minutes per side. So in the end, we want our playlist to be a little under 30 minutes. But what you're going to see here is I'm actually going over 30 minutes. In the end, I have a playlist that's 39 minutes long. And the reason I did this is that it's easier to cut down on minutes than it is to add more on. So it's always better to go over in time and then just slowly cut your songs down. At this point, I usually pull out some kind of spreadsheet. I'm using Excel here, and I just put together two columns of information. One side is just the name of the song, and the other side is the runtime of the song. Um, you'll notice that I'm doing it in minutes format, so it's not minutes and seconds, it's just minutes. That way, I don't have to go through the effort of like adding together the seconds right now, because it really doesn't matter. Um, after putting all that information in together, I'm using the auto sum function on Excel where I highlight all the cells and then click on that and it gives me my total, which right now is 38.62 minutes, which obviously is way too many. So now I'm just going through and picking and choosing which songs I want to keep and uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get that number as close to 30 as possible. And so at this point, I've finished going through the songs for the most part, and after a little bit more editing, I end up with a runtime that is around 29.4 minutes long, uh, which is a little bit under 29 minutes and 30 seconds, and that's what you want, because when you're recording a cassette tape, sometimes you want to leave a little blank space at the beginning and a little blank space at the end, just so none of your songs get cut off. And uh, I usually leave around 30 seconds. So yeah, that's how I put together a playlist. And um, now that we have the time put together, I just go back into the actual playlist on my laptop and reorganize the songs in however manner I think would sound good. So at this point, we're ready to record. Um, I have the cassette tape already loaded into this deck on my boombox. It has a record function only on the bottom. I have my iPad with the playlist ported onto it through Spotify, plugged in, and uh, yeah, we're ready to record. I'm going to press play and record at the same time, wait like a good 5-10 seconds, and then start playing the music. And I'm just going to let it run. I'll probably come back to check on it in like 30 minutes or so. Yeah. And so uh, I've since finished recording everything, it's been a bit of time, and uh, I just finished rewinding it, press play, and check the tape. Sounds good. That concludes the video. This has been me showing you how to record a playlist onto a cassette tape. And uh, yeah. Subscribe, I guess, like the video if you want to, share it if you're so inclined. Uh, again, URL to the website is in the description, and uh, that's it. Bye.